Hi, this is Roxana for Avid Diva, and today is day 40, no, 39, of the 100 day challenge. If it was 49, I would be celebrating more than that because it would be almost halfway done. Um, and today I want to talk about perceptions. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because I had a conversation with somebody today and they said something that I perceived one way and they meant a different way. And had I not asked for clarification, it would have been a fight. So, here's the thing. And this happens a lot more when it's written conversation than when it's spoken. But it happens in any way of conversation for a simple reason. When you say something, you are basing your thoughts and your actions based on your experience. When somebody hears you, they're interpreting based on their actions and their thoughts and their process. And it will always be one of those things that is open for interpretation. Now, there are things that may or may not be open for interpretation. For example, if I say, if I tell you I'm wearing a green dress and you happen to be colorblind, you're not going to see the green dress. So there are things, even in reality, in facts, there's times when you can have um, things open for interpretation. So going back to the example, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of things that happen. I don't know if you've ever seen um, any videos on YouTube about this, but I have seen several where um, comedians make fun of the fact that you're texting something and the person gets it a completely different way than you meant it. Um, not too long ago, I sent somebody a text about something that we were doing that day and they automatically assumed that I didn't want to go that I was just looking for an excuse not to go. And what I was trying to tell them was that, I mean, the whole time I'm explaining that there's traffic and I'm going to be 15 minutes late, They, the entire time they thought that it was that I was not going to show up. So, of course, when I show up, they're like, but I thought you weren't coming. And I'm like, no, I told you I was going to be 15 minutes late because I had traffic. So that's, an ex uh, that's a simple example of it. Um, for example, today, this person that I was talking to, and this was face-to-face, -face, not um, text. Um, this person was talking about priorities and how we have to set priorities for certain things that are going on here. And um, the way the person said something about this video sounded like, you know, this is just a little pet project and it's not that important. And needless to say, I got very angry because... This isn't about money. This isn't about me putting my face out there. This is about a message I'm trying to deliver. And I'm hoping that I'm delivering. And maybe only two people see this video every day. And that's okay. If those two people get anything from my experience, and it makes their experience easier, I am more than happy with the two people. I am not, this is a free medium, so I'm not paying anything for being here. Um... It doesn't make it any less important to me. Everything I do online, I have an Instagram account, I have a Facebook page, I have a um, Twitter feed. Everything I ever post and say is in the hopes that somebody either learns something or it makes them think. And so to me, social media is really important. Not as a way to make money, although at some point, maybe, I will, if I write a book, if I finish writing the book, because I already started, um, when I, I should say it this way so that it comes true. When I finish writing the book, it will become uh, a me, uh, not only social media for the purpose of sharing the message, but also for hope, hopefully selling the book. But right now, this is all about sharing the message, sharing the knowledge, and hopefully helping somebody else get through what I'm, I'm dealing with right now. So to me, it is absolutely important. And the way the person said it aggravated the crap out of me. And so I decided not to make a comment at that particular time because I was too emotional and I knew I was just going to start yelling and we were in a public place. So what I did is I waited and a little later on I said, you know, you, you have to understand that it's, choice of words and the person was like oh now I'm gonna have to watch for everything I say and I felt like saying yes you do have to watch everything you say because words matter and the way you say words matter there's a reason why instead of me saying losing weight I talk about shedding pounds or throwing them away or whatever there is a power in words and you as a person know which words work for you 
and that's really important for other people to either take or not, their life will be a lot easier if they take it, if they want to have a relationship with you. So what I'm asking you today is when you go online in your own social media or when you text somebody or even when you're talking to people face to face, make sure that you clarify as much as you can what you're trying to say. And remember always that people will always catch things that you send them based on their own experience. So they might not exactly interpret it the way you want to. If you're not sure, clarify. It's as simple as telling them, you know, I'm not sure. I, under, I, I made myself, I explained myself very well. Can you tell me, can you give me back what I just told you to make sure that we're both on the same page? There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it would be preferable than, you know, having a situation where you end up in a fight with somebody or in an argument or you don't speak to them for a while because they didn't understand what you were trying to say. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, today again is day 39 of the 100 day challenge. This is Roxana for Avid Diva and you have a wonderful night.